All right, so yeah, welcome in everybody. I'm Erin, nice to see everybody here. Um, if you're here for a tutorial, I'll explain how it's going to work. If you're here just to chill and watch, that's totally fine too. Uh, but if you're here for the tutorial, the idea is that I'll be teaching you step-by-step -step how to recreate this beautiful Halloween-y painting. And he gets it up. No worries, Alyssa, I'm gonna talk for a couple minutes so you got some time, no problem, welcome in. Uh, yeah, as usual, the painting is nameless. If you have any name ideas, please let me know. I will be uploading this to YouTube as soon as possible. I am catching up, by the way. I've got a third video um, uploaded. I just need to make a thumbnail for it, so it should be up either later tonight or tomorrow. Excuse me, and I'm catching up from there. So still uploading to YouTube. This will be uploaded as well um, as soon as I can. Uh, in terms of how this works, I'll be painting it with you step by step so you can see the original here. If you would like to take a quick little photo of it, feel free. Uh, there's also a digital version on Instagram. There's a digital version on Facebook if you'd prefer. Welcome in. Uh, Patrick, hello. Uh, otherwise, you can just uh, have a look at this one and then have a look as I bring it up and down as I teach. Uh, because I will be replacing it with a blank canvas and recreating it with you step by step. If anyone needs materials, you can uh, type exclamation supplies in the chat and that'll give you a whole list of things that I'm using, but I also will describe them to you right now. Um, in terms of paint colors, I have five different paint colors. I have red, yellow, phthalo blue, thank you Wookie, black and white. Uh, brushes, I have three different sizes. I have large flat brush, medium round brush, small round brush. Yes, thanks Mary, the supplies are right there too. I've got a cup of paint water. I've got my apron, shout out Terry as always. If Terry's here, I'll be contacting you very soon. Um, that's it for supplies. Yeah, I wanna make sure I didn't miss anybody in chat and then we can get started. Oh, interesting Todd, okay. Did look okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it another time, Cindy. Stars didn't align, it's fine. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's the basics for how this works. Uh, if anyone has questions, let me know right now or throughout the event. If you have any questions about the design or need me to repeat anything, that's the whole point. I can help you out, so let me know. Um, otherwise, we're just gonna go ahead step by step in about a two hour period and uh, get some painting done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so first step is we're going to do the background. So we probably wanna use a nice big, big brush. We have a large flat brush. And if you're sticking with the purple background like me, I'm going to be mixing red and blue. So I'm gonna pour some red and blue on my plate, mix them together, make a nice purple. So just red and blue, I want a nice deep dark purple. Um, the purple I like has a little extra red in it, but you can make whatever shade of purple you like. So pretty and has tiny uh, time marks on it. Oh, okay, okay. I think I've seen those before. That sounds helpful. Wood, are you listening right now? Say yes or no. I need to tell you something. <laughs> You're gonna kill me. We're just applying this back and forth. Um, I'm gonna go most of the way down, but I'm actually gonna shape out where the pumpkin is. So don't cover the whole thing. Just go about halfway, and then I'm gonna show you what to do for the pumpkin here. Listen to this one. <laughs> about 15 minutes ago, Cindy came in here and said Tom thinks was going to raid me, but then he didn't because I had it on followers only chat. Shoot me, <laughs> fire me right now. Oh boy. Back and forth, left and right with the purple. You can go around the edges too. Side, top, other side. Tom thinks, like the guy who does painting with Borb, <laughs> was eyeing me, was going to raid me, did not because I had the chat turned to followers, followers only. Yeah, big rip. And that's been on for a week because I had that on for marbles a week ago. Mm hmm. It's fine though. <laughs> I'm just a fantastic streamer who knows exactly what I'm doing. 
<laughs> okay, Todd, you're the host now, that's fine. So you can see my purple's pretty dark, but it still shows up as purple. And that's because I'm using mostly red. If I were using mostly blue, it would look totally different. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, it would have been my biggest. It's fine, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I don't wanna think about it. Again, it's stars didn't align, it's fine. Another time, another time. And I was just starting, it wouldn't have been, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Yeah, canine, I know. <laughs> I know. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's on fire. It's fine. Again, the fact that he even considered and tuned into the channel, though. Phew. Phew. My body. My soul leaves my body. Oh, you're fine, canine. You guys did what you could. <laughs> it was all me. It came down to me. You can be dipping your paintbrush in the water if you want. That'll help spread the paint around a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. Dioxazine, purple, too dark. Ooh, I actually don't know what that looks like. Um, if you think it is a little dark, just throw some white in there. I'm gonna leave that one up to you. Oh, <laughs> Sydney, no, you're fine. It's giving me, it's giving me, um... <laughs> a lot of feelings, but mostly good. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Yes. Have you not checked him out before, James? He's amazing. We've rated him a few times because I think he's just the best. Oh, Alyssa, you're fine. Yep, just putting on purple. Slowly but surely. Okay, cool. That's really nice to know. Big break, baby. And I just idolize him. His streams are so, so good. That's true, James. Yeah, I could have sworn we've raided him at night, but it's okay. It's okay. Check him out if you haven't. Tom, thanks. All right, so I'm about halfway down, everybody. So I'll give a quick, quick minute in case anyone's still putting purple on, just in case. I guess I'm a little off kilter here, too. I could go down here. There we go. Should be fine. Okay, thanks, Todd. Yeah, I, I can't picture the color I've never seen. You just what when you can? Mm-hmm, pop, okay. Ha 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 ha. Wow, and you know what? Just thinking back on the week too, it makes me thankful that so many new followers actually came into the chat and chatted. They all had to wait for <laughs> 10 minutes to chat this whole week. That's more what I'm upset about. <laughs> Again, nothing for, yeah, nothing for you two to be upset about. You guys were, were great. Thank you for recommending me. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I know, Alyssa. You usually pop in before work and you're like, I'm off to work now. All right, everybody. So I'm just going to mark out where the pumpkin is. I'm not worried about marking out where the witch is because it's going to be mostly black. Uh, there's going to be some green. Uh, but I was able to put that right over top of the background totally fine. So I'm just not worried about it. I just want to mark out where the pumpkin is because I did have trouble making a bright orange on top of the purple. So that's why we're going to mark out the pumpkin. So my pumpkin, it's probably actually a little less than halfway down. This is just generous to be, uh, stopping about halfway here. So I'm doing a nice horizontal like this. So I'm going just below halfway. And I'm going to stay very close to the edges with some curves. So I'm just doing the curve of the pumpkin on the left hand side. Right hand side. So just generally marking it out so that there's lots of white space for the nice bright orange. Um, there was James the whole week by accident. That was brought to my attention. I'll talk about it in a second. <laughs> and then I'm just filling in purple all around it. So I'm just going left and right. 
kind of shaping out where the pumpkin is going to be. I added maybe a little bit of a curve up here. Doesn't really matter because that's going to be kind of the inside of the pumpkin. It's more so the face that I want to make sure is nice and bright and white right now. But yeah, James, during marbles, I turned that on so that we didn't have anybody random coming in. And I didn't realize that the setting stays on for each new stream. I never turned it off. So the whole week it's been like new followers have to wait 10 minutes before chatting. <sighs> Woof. Army wife, welcome in. Nice to see you again. How's it going? Oh, it's okay, Alyssa. Everyone does what they can. Maybe I'll try some more nighttime streams too, you know? I've been online at nighttime a couple times recently. It's been a lot of fun because people like you are able to pop in, so... Sandy, welcome in. And Travis, happy Halloween from Travis. Happy Halloween to Travis. What are you guys dressing up as? You'll get there, James. Oh, a tad dark. Well, yeah, I told Wookie to uh, add some white if she thought it was maybe a little bit dark. But yeah. Perfect. Yes, thank you. Perfection, excuse me. Is that why I had a timer when I followed? Yes, probably. I'm so sorry if that was on for you. That's not intentional. I was doing something special last Saturday, so I turned that on and I didn't realize it stayed on for the entire week. So thank you for sticking around. <laughs> thank you for now commenting in the chat. I appreciate you giving that extra time. It should be turned off now though. Yep, yep, that's, it's been on the whole time. <clears throat> yes, oh, Alyssa, we've had four redemptions. I've completed two, I have two more to complete now. Wookie, get thinking. If Anna's here, get thinking. I have both of you to do, but also no rush. And I'm using acrylics today, Army Wife, as usual. All of my uh, tutorials are using acrylics. Happy full moon Halloween, right? Travis is Black Panther and I'm the, uh, the Frizz from Magic School Bus. Oh, Miss Frizzle. No way, that's such a good costume. Okay, so I've gone around my pumpkin again. You can see my pumpkin shape could be a little cleaner and that's okay, we can clean it up a little later. It's more so just getting that whole empty space ready to go. So we're just gonna sit here for a minute or two just to make sure everybody's caught up. Um, I will be actually doing a little bit of sketching next so we don't need the purple to be dry. So if you're worried about the purple drying quickly, don't worry about it. What I do is I'll be taking some white just to generally sketch out this witch shape. And if it mixes with the purple as we do it, that's totally fine. <laughs> Todd, you do? You're saving up for like four times that, am I correct? Little Wolf, welcome in, nice to see you. Hello, hello, howdy, howdy. Got you, uh, nothing about this kind of thing. Oh, let's use oils and watercolor, right, right, right. Yeah, no worries, no worries. Yeah, acrylic I love doing tutorials with because they dry very quickly. If anyone makes mistakes, they can just let it dry go over top of it. I know acrylics very well, so it's what I'm most comfortable with. Uh, perfection, I'll be lurking and working on a dragon, uh, dragon diamond painting. Oh, no worries about the lurk, perfection, if you feel like it. Um, we have a lovely art share channel in our discord. I'm sure we'd love to see it if you want to share what you're working on whenever you're done or work in progress, anything, but enjoy the lurk. Yes. Good luck, Patrick. Oh, Travis is saying happy Halloween to everybody. Oh, okay, Alyssa. <laughs> falling into the void of music is nothing to be sad about either though. I love falling into music voids. I'm glad it's a good combo. Okay, Todd, so you're just gonna hit me one day when it comes to your mind, that's fine. My heart. <laughs> I can't wait to work on whenever you want, Wookie. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna have to make one big, yeah, out of the four. That's, <laughs> I thought that's what he was saving for. Use acrylics for like yard signs and stuff. Oh, okay, interesting. <laughs> 
Oh, Cindy, you guys are so sweet. Okay, everybody, I assume we're all good with the purple so we can start to sketch out some objects here. So when I was making this originally on Twitch, I just found it as usual, quite helpful to kind of sketch things out rather than going in with plain black and the green and all that. I like to kind of sketch things out, see where they are, and then I can kind of fill them in one at a time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, sketch out the nice hat here. We have kind of the shoulder and even the hands and fingers here, the arms, hands and fingers, um, the face shape. And if you want, you can even sketch out the cat as well. I'll do all of that here with you. And once we're done sketching, we can start to go back into the pumpkin here. So I'm gonna use a medium round brush and I'm going to use white paint. So just to be clear again, we don't need pure white paint. Um, if it mixes with the purple as we use it, that's okay. So it's probably going to start out white. It's gonna mix into maybe a lavender or a light purple, totally fine. But we're starting with white. Oh, thanks, Alyssa. Oh my gosh. You're all so sweet. You're always so sweet. I always want to say, you're all so sweet tonight or now. And it's like, but you always are. It's too cute. Thanks, CJ. Thanks, James. Why are you all so sweet all the time? All right, everybody. <clears throat> so I'm going to start with the witch's hat. So the witch's hat is kind of close to the top of the painting. I'm going to move this in hopes that my voice follows with you here. Um, I want to leave a little bit of room at the top for the nice point of the hat. So I'm going to start with a nice big round oval. Round oval. Again, very loose. Just a nice little sketch. So a nice round oval. This is going to be the big, big, big brim of the hat. Big brim. I sure did, and I'm proud of it. Art streamer extraordinaire now. Miles, so sweet. Keep saying hi to each other and stuff. Wee. <clears throat> so that's the big brim of the hat. The witch is kind of looking down, so we see a lot of the brim. And then what we can do is do kind of the point. We're not going to see the whole point of the hat because it's much too big but we're just going to start it here. So we're going to start anywhere on the left-hand side, just kind of bring a line kind of shakily up, going towards the middle. And then another one over here, going up kind of towards the middle, just kind of shaking as if it's maybe like slumping over a little bit. It's not perfectly straight up. If you want it perfectly straight, you can of course do two straight lines, but I kind of like it a little floopy. Oh, Lisa, you're so cute. And I never lie. I appreciate that. It's never like a buttering up thing. I live by that too. I like being honest. Though people's artwork too. I feel like some people are like, no, you're just too nice about all the art. I'm not. I'm being honest. <laughs> Sushi, welcome in. Nice to see you. How's your evening going? Just watching today, paint later. No worries. Yeah, James, I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of there too. I kind of relate. I'm getting better at it though. Hopefully, you guys have noticed. <laughs> I can take them a little better now. I love giving them though. All right, I'm gonna do the witch's face next. So the witch's face is right in the smack middle. For those who forget, the witch is kind of looking down a bit, kind of, kind of, you know. So we really only see the bottom of the head here. What I did is I started just a little bit wide and then I kind of curved down into a nice chin. The chin does get covered up a little by, bit by the bubbles and stuff underneath, but we're still going to kind of carve it in right here. So again, angle down, we kind of do a little curve in then down to the chin. So let's get that done. I'm just gonna turn this to me because this is a uh, part we wanna keep nice and symmetrical and I can even clean this up as well. So we're gonna start again, close to the middle, a little wider, maybe about like this. I'll show you there. Comes down at an angle on both sides. There we go. Does a quick little curve in, back down, curve in, back down, and then just a nice round chin. Anything like that, because then that way we see some kind of cheekbones going on, you know, that's the little curve in. 
Might want to be a little less prominent than that. Not better about giving, still better about taking. <laughs> yeah, that's where I am too. No worries, Sandy, that's fine. Hand him over, now he gets booped. Oh. oh, Alyssa, that's adorable. Confuse people. It's a good confuse, though. <laughs> Yeah, Todd just wants to boot for all the all the happy stuff, you know? Take the compliment. <laughs> He's always been that color. Alright, let's continue the witch here. So I want to go down to get some kind of shoulders and arms on, and then we'll kind of lightly sketch in the hands and everything too, so that we can kind of see where those are. Well, no, we don't even have to do that. We can do the orange first. Let's do that. Okay. So, sorry, I'm kind of deciding as I go here. So we're going to start kind of at the uh, top here where the uh, hat and the head meet together, kind of at the corner. We're just doing a nice angled line down. And then I do a little bit more of an angle down too. So I just kind of do the shoulder and then it's kind of like the, the arm is coming down as well. Do the same thing over here. It just kind of falls off the canvas. We don't really see all of the arm there. There, you're getting some compliments. Take it, take it. Oh yes, he knows his color code. And then I initially said, sorry, that we were going to do the hands, but we're actually going to do the pumpkin first. So we can kind of bring the arms up just to show where those are, but then we're gonna work on the hands a little bit later. So we can do a second line coming up now. So we're just about where the last line ended off, maybe a little bit lower. We're come up and around. Just kind of curve down. Other other side of the arm just kind of curving up and we're just going to end it there. So you can kind of see the arm is coming in. We're not doing all the detail quite yet. We'll get that done a little later once we have the orange on. That'll be a lot easier. Okay and same thing on the other side. We're just kind of dipping up, back down, and then other side of the arm on the bottom here just kind of coming up to where it meets the pumpkin. So we see that nice long arm coming in. They're all reaching into the pumpkin. Whoopsie. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that sketch there for a quick minute in case you need to look at it. Then we can get right to the pumpkin here. Bee's knees, everyone's the bee's knees. Take it, take it. <laughs> Keisha and Cyan are two of my fave colors. Oh, Cyan, all right. Lemming, welcome in. Good morning to you. How's it going? Now they make eyes bleed. I just love them. I don't mind it at all, Todd. That pink is a beautiful pink. All the pink fleshy crew. Wait, you guessed that, James? What do you mean? <laughs> that is a little funny, Todd. You go straight for neon or nothing. Neon or bust. I've never gotten an ad for Freaky, Alyssa. Here on Twitch? And the more I want to see it, the more I want to watch it. What's it about? Is it like a halloween -y movie? You guessed very close. Dang, you know your colors. Great, thanks. And you, happy almost Halloween. Happy almost Halloween. Is it Halloween for you, though? Because you're in the future. It's tomorrow morning for you, right? If I'm correct. But I'm good, thanks, Lemming. I streamed earlier today, had a little break, and now I'm wide awake. This is what happens. At nighttime, I'm just like, pew, wide awake. <laughs> all that in a bag of chips. Well, that's just great, Cindy. I think you are all that in a bag of chips, too. I love it as well. I love everyone hanging out. I was red forever changed during the- I remember, I remember. It still feels a little weird, honestly. Okay, everybody, I'm gonna go on to the pumpkin now. So our pumpkin is a nice bright, bright orange. 
And because we kind of sketched it out, we don't have a lot of work to do going over top of purple. So if purple is still a little wet, you just want to avoid it a little bit, but touching it here and there should be okay. Mine is pretty dry anyway. Uh, we're going to do a nice bright orange for most of the pumpkin. And then I do do, even though it's mostly covered up, I do a nice dark orange in here so that we can kind of see inside the pumpkin. Even though it gets covered up, it's still important to do. You can kind of see it through it. So we're going to start with the bright orange and then we'll do a darker orange there. So let's do a nice large flat brush. And I'm going to mix yellow with a little bit of red. I want a nice bright orange. So mostly yellow, a little bit of red. And I will throw in a little bit of white as well, just so you know. I think the white really brightens up the orange, so I'm gonna throw in a little white as well. Technically tonight, but we don't really do it here. Oh, I didn't know that. You mean do the do to COVID or regularly? Cause, cause same, uh, for COVID lemming, we're not really doing a whole lot of trick or treating, but I don't know. I'm still celebrating Halloween alone in my apartment. <laughs> I'll be streaming tomorrow morning and doing some Halloween-y stuff. It's true, James, I don't. <laughs> Lots of yellow, a little bit of red, and a little bit of white in there as well. That'll help brighten up the orange. I said doo-doo. You tend to do, doo-doo. So your perfect pumpkin orange. Mine has lots of yellow, a little bit of red, a little bit of white. See how bright that is? And that's because it's going on a plain white canvas. And that's why we planned ahead and we left that blank. Otherwise we probably would have been doing two to three layers and I did do two or three layers on my original because I didn't plan ahead. So this is the solution, planning ahead. So filling this in. And again, if you need to clean anything up, now is the time to do so. So by cleaning up, I mean just adjusting kind of curves and edges. So I think this curve kind of comes in a little quick here. So I'm just gonna look straight ahead and get that fixed. So overlapping if you need to, you might see a little bit of transparency through. You can always do a second layer later to get rid of that transparency, but it's good at least to map it out right now. See that? So you kind of see an edge there, nothing to, uh, Nothing that really distracts though, in my opinion. It's better that I uh, shaped it out the way I wanted. Mostly Facebook, it's kind of like Freaky Friday. Wait, they switch bodies. Oh, okay. I, I'd be into that. Sounds like an interesting concept. Like you said, kind of like Freaky Friday. Just not part of our culture. Oh, interesting. But the young kids have started trick-or-treating a little bit over the last few years. I see, okay, okay. I didn't know that, I had no idea. Interesting, learning new things, shower time, be right back. Good luck, have fun. Okay, just moving my way around the pumpkin, going to the right hand side. <laughs> he caught it. <laughs> I didn't Little Wolf. And you know what? I didn't put it on the movie list. That was one I forgot. We had so many other ones that were being requested for Halloween. Is that even really like a Halloween? -y? I can put it on a future list, I assume, right, Little Wolf? And I'm filling in the whole pumpkin, just to be clear, everybody. Um, I will be doing the nice darker orange, but I'll be kind of covering up the regular orange by doing that. So you can cover up the whole empty space right now. Oh, he always does. He's always here. It would work for Halloween. Okay, yeah, well, it's... Um, my point is, Lil Wolf, we have a, we have a full uh, pull up already for Halloween, so I can't really add it, unfortunately, but I would add it to another one for sure. Oh yeah, Lemming, you like? Yeah, everyone keeps telling me to watch. I've never seen it. It's an on-running joke that I haven't seen all these like classic cult films, etc. And it's just another one that I haven't seen. Yes, that's what he's talking about.
There we go. See, uh, the uh, completed shape. So we have the curve, the curve. Again, I did a little bit of a curve up here. I know I started with horizontal, but you can curve it just a little bit. And that way it looks like we'll be looking inside the pumpkin when we add the dark red kind of curving around like this. So I'm just giving another minute or two and then we can add the nice dark red. That's not true. Stop spreading lies. I just haven't seen it. <clears throat> so bright. I can see it sounds like that was a side joke and it wasn't. I was just clearing my throat. So bright. I can see why you went with dark purple. Nice contrast. Thanks. Yeah. Um, the last painting we did too, it had a similar thing, Alyssa. It wasn't, um, it wasn't orange and purple, but I loved the contrast that the purple had with the greens that we added. Um, and I guess there was their orange moon actually. So there was a little piece of it, but yeah, I definitely pulled that same purple background because of that. Mm-hmm. Oh, no worries, Gray. You're fine. Welcome in. I started at a weird time. I was a little late starting, so maybe you were looking at 7th. I don't know. Whatever. Either way, welcome in. <laughs> Happy Friday night. <laughs> Ewok needs to sing the song from the rock. I know. Oh, boy. LOL. Do you think she'll be able to handle it? I. What do you mean? I think I'll be fine. <laughs> I. What's lying? I appreciate good cinema. I just wasn't introduced to a lot of it. <laughs> Younger. <laughs> I'm open to it and I enjoy everything that everyone's recommending. The others in Hocus Pocus is winning second. Interesting. Halloween was like top, top, top this morning. Halloween. Oh, okay. There you go. All right. Comes back again. I think it will be those two unless we get a few more votes in there. Frankenfurta? What's that? Anyone else know that movie? I don't. It's such a toss up. Yeah. I haven't seen a lot of them. You're right. Ah, oh, James, there were so many. Dang it, I'm sorry. There were so many good ones. And I was going through the chat and everything. And I was like, oh yeah, that one, that one. I had a whole list as well. I'm so sorry. We can watch it another night though. All of these, like all, we don't need to wait for Saturdays. We can watch another night. Bet most of y'all don't even know the court jester, so I don't want to hear that she doesn't know. Good so oh, gosh, I don't. <laughs> y'all can argue about it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do the nice kind of top part of the pumpkin now. So just to describe that again, because I know it's a little bit hidden. I did a darker orange in here, so that it looks like we're peeking into the pumpkin, even though we cover up later with all this nice lavender bubbly type stuff. Still important to do that nice shape down here, just in case we see through it. So I'm gonna keep using the large flat brush. I'm gonna add two colors to my existing orange. So I'm using the existing orange I just uh, used there and I'm putting in some red and then putting in a tiny bit of black, tiny bit of black. Whoops, okay. Tiny bit, tiny bit of black. So only a bit. Um, we're, we're trying to get kind of like a rusty looking orange. I keep using that word rustic orange, rusty red, etc. This is looking like a nice rusty red. So I've added it to my existing orange. I've added red and black. It's looking like a rusty red, rusty, rusty orange, even like a brown, orangey brown. You can think of it as any of those colors. Okay. So see that kind of popping off of there. So what I'm doing with that is I'm going around the top edge, which again is slightly curved up to down. And then I'm doing a curve coming down and up like this. So we're creating an opening in the pumpkin. See that happening? Just putting it right on top. If it blends in a little, that's okay. As long as there's a little bit of a contrast between those two colors. Okay, okay, Lemming. I wouldn't know because I haven't seen it. <laughs> Live version of Rising College. Not what you were expecting. That's what I keep hearing. I don't want to. I don't want to learn more, but I want it all to be a surprise. No worries, James. You still haven't gone to the shower. No worries. Yeah, I've heard it's a lot of fun, though. I've heard it's a fun time, right? Am I wrong? A fun movie, a fun time to watch live, etc. 
Okay, we're just gonna let that sit there for a teeny bit. We'll be working on the black of the witch next. We're gonna leave the green because we want the green to overlap some of this pumpkin here. So we want that to dry a little bit. We'll be doing the black first. But yeah, all these movies that we keep mentioning, like I can keep putting them in Saturday night movie votes, but we can also just watch them whenever. Still gets played here from time to time. People dress up in character and go to the cinema. See, that sounds fun. Maybe I should wait till that's a thing again and then get the whole experience, maybe, maybe. Or maybe watch the movie and then know what I'm in for, question mark. Movie first, definitely. Oh, okay, interesting. No surprises, huh? Okay. All right, everybody, I'm gonna be doing some black next. So black paint. So I'm gonna be doing the witch's hat, for example, any of this body here, and I'm leaving, I'm leaving the head and I'm leaving the arms, okay? Everything else is black. We can even do the black kitty cat, which we did not sketch out, but I will just do in black with you. Okay, so uh, you can use whatever brush you want. I actually did move to the medium round brush just because there might be some quick little curves here and there and I don't like using the large flat brush for that. I find it a little bit tougher. So even though it's a large space to cover, I'm just gonna use the medium sized brush. So I'm just putting black, again, everywhere in the hat. We are covering, of course, that little outline that we did here, but that was really just to get the outline kind of coming up here. So don't worry about that. We can sketch that out again with some gray later. And you can really take your time now. So if your sketch was a little bit off in any way, or again, you need to clean up edges, just go nice and slow. I'm gonna take a nice front view here and try and even things out a bit in terms of the brim. Nice clean edges everywhere. And I'm just kind of smoothing it all out as I go so there's not any big bumps or ridges. So just large strokes back and forth to smooth it out. I've been seeing so many people in awesome costumes already and it isn't even Halloween yet. Usually it's the week leading up. So yeah, I'm sure you've seen a lot if you peruse any social medias or Reddit especially. All week they've been doing that. Movie first, cult classic for sure. And all of these movies are ones that I've always been meaning to watch never have the right time for it or I want to experience it with friends so this has been really good to be able to do that on Saturdays it's been great okay I know the glare is there you can see the hat though coming together so I'm gonna make sure that I am again, leaving the face empty because that's going to be green. We're painting all around the face and around these arms that we did. So just kind of like the shoulder area. Down here. anywhere on those insides there. 
For a second I forget me listening to Spotify was separate from your stream. I'm really so oh, sorry. Now I've got music playing too, just very lightly here. Thank you, K9. Going nice and careful along those shoulders, just shaping it all out the way I want here. What do you do with your art after streams? Good question. Hold on. So, I have two copies of every painting that I've done. <laughs> every uh, tutorial that I've done, I have two copies. Right now, all of those copies are sitting to my right in a uh, big shelving unit here. Um, Alyssa, in the summer, I gave away a bunch of them for free. I had about 300 of them stacked up from past um, painting lessons that I did, and I just gave them out for free because I didn't feel right selling them. Um, I went to a local park and gave them out. And uh, I'd like to do that again, but it's getting a little cold. <laughs> and um, something that I was kind of saddened by was that, you know, it was only offered to locals because you know, I'm doing it locally, I'm giving them out for free locally. And I wanna make sure that maybe now that I'm reaching a wider audience, more people can uh, get their hands on some paintings if they want. So I am planning eventually on putting them online and then selling them for like a low price. What I wanna do actually is sell them for something and then do like half of the profit to donation or charity or something, um, just so the money's going somewhere. And uh, yeah, that'll cover like shipping and all that, but more so I just want as many people as possible to be able to get a uh, their hands on any of these paintings. So I'm, I'm probably gonna do that soon. I don't wanna say super soon, but like I'm stacking up again. I've got, I've got quite a lot now, so I probably could. We'll see. I've done donations before. I've donated to um, like retirement homes and things like that. But uh, with COVID that's uh, been a little bit difficult, yeah. I did drop some off before I did the park donation, maybe a two months beforehand. But usually, I don't know, I I've done that before and I like going in there and actually handing them out and making a whole thing out of it. But uh, for COVID, it was like drop the box and leave and that was just a little different. It was still good that the paintings were going to them, but I, I like being able to see who's choosing what and hearing about, you know, why, why they liked the painting and stuff like that. So I think something online would be better for this time around. Currently listening to an artist, I like one of their songs called DVD, Killing Darby. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, Lemming. Confident I speak for all of us here. Appreciate the stream. Share all of us. Teach us for watching. Clingy Nine. Cheering up a personality makes your streams even more enjoyable. Thank you. I just want to thank you for being a sharing. Oh, K9. You're all killing me tonight. <laughs> thank you. Um, I'm happy doing it. Again, I, I always kind of come back with this statement, but honestly, it's like. Um, I'm glad I do that for you guys, but you do it for me just by being here and by saying those nice things and learning art and doing art. So it's, it's all full circle. I'll just keep saying it. It's not like, uh, <laughs> it's not like I get nothing out of it. It's really be, it's beyond amazing that you guys want to watch me and do art with me as well. It makes me really happy. So thank you. I try, I try. Big hug. Maybe even Facebook marketplace. Yeah, maybe. That's true. That's true. The circle of paint. Yeah, maybe Facebook Marketplace. I kind of want to do it all as one big thing, Alyssa. Like, I want to sell some art too, and sell different. Th whatever. I have a, <laughs> I have a plan <laughs> that's gonna be coming to fruition hopefully soon. Um, so yeah, it'll be a big thing. But yeah, Facebook Marketplace maybe. If I don't, if I can't sell certain things, or if I want to give them out for free, I think Marketplace would be a good spot to try. Thumbs up, Maria. Um, so I'm just waiting for a few things to dry right now. We don't want to go in here yet because it's still very wet and fresh. Same with here. We want to let that dry before doing the jack-o'-lantern. Um, and we could do a little bit of gray kind of up here to highlight because I like to do some gray streaks to highlight, but I'm just kind of waiting for that to dry as well. 
Um, we could work on the cat a little bit. Let's maybe do that. And then we can wait for other things to dry as that's happening. So something we didn't sketch out, but we can uh, do with the black paint right now is just the little kitty cat. For those who didn't see, I'll show you. There he is. <laughs> I just thought he was a cute little addition. Uh, as I was painting this on Twitch, everyone wanted me to add a little cat. Oh, and we can do the spider too, but yeah, just a little cat peeking over. So all he is, is just kind of like a round half circle. Couple little triangles for ears, boop, boop. And then we sketch in the paws later with gray, so we don't need to worry about that. So if you want a cute little kitty cat peeking over the shoulder, I'm just taking black paint on a medium round brush. And as I described, it's kind of like a half circle just resting on the shoulder. Like that. Filling her in. See that? Just resting on the shoulder. It looks like a big bump on the shoulder, but it will turn into a nice little kitty cat. And then we're doing two little triangles on either side. So one on the right hand side, one on the left. If it gets hidden by the hat, that's okay. We're gonna sketch that out with some gray as well to help it pop off a little bit more. But that's where the kitty cat is sitting, just on the shoulder. Give you a quick minute for that one. Then we can do our spider. I forgot about our cute little spider. We can definitely add him in next. Love his yellow eyes. Yeah, me too. He's just, I just think he's so cute peeking over. I love his little paws just going boop. <laughs> Maybe, why? <laughs> Cindy. <laughs> oh no, tablet pad are you going by? Oh, see you lemming. <laughs> see you if you charge up again. Otherwise, thanks for popping and have a good rest of your day. Happy Halloween to you. Cindy. Um. I, I kind of like watching and I kind of don't. Um, certain ones are a little too much for me, but yeah, sometimes I enjoy. <laughs> Do you watch? She has a big sister. On her shoulder. <laughs> yeah, I should have known with that big blob. That's why you're saying it. Oh dear. See, I, I can't handle those ones. Those are way too big. Little sis, welcome in. How's it going? All right, let's do a little, let's do a little spider. So for those who don't know, um, a couple weeks ago, we had a spider in this room. We had a spider, um, you're messing, no, you're not. <laughs> now I have visions of it in my brain. Um, there was a spider in this, uh, in this room I was streaming from and, uh, one day the spider popped its head over the monitor and took a peek at me. It was like 20 minutes of me trying to find a spider. It hung around for a couple tutorials and I eventually found it and let it outside. So just as an ode to the spider, Sammy the spider, we added a little spider here. We had to do it. We had to do it. So I'm going to add one just hanging off of the brim of the hat on the left hand side. It's a very, very straightforward spider. You can see close up. It's just a big black circle with four little lines on either side for eight legs total. And then we will add some white little eyes there just to make them a little cuter. See them there? Yeah. So I'm of course switching to a teeny tiny brush, just grabbing some black paint. And I'm just gonna float them anywhere below the brim, maybe right around here. So again, just a black circle. And then carefully just adding four little straight lines kind of poking out on either side, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, whoops, that got a little thick, seven, eight. Just all kind of sprawling out on either side. Perfect, yeah, he's great. Okay, washing off the teeny tiny brush. Grabbing some white paint. And I just want to give him a little string to hang off of, a little bit of web. Sorry, redipping. I'm wiping my brush on my plate too. That helps kind of line up the bristles to get a nice thin line. And I'm just going to do a nice straight up and down line, just meeting up with the brim of the hat. There we go. 
just hanging down. And I have one more detail to add. I want to give him a little, two little eyes. Little Miss Erin sat on her desk chair eating her curds and gravy. <laughs> Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Erin away. It didn't frighten me away though. <laughs> I stayed. I got up to try and find it for 20 minutes, but I, I, I stayed. <laughs> I stayed and looked around in a panic. Spotted him a few times, it was good. Or sat down beside her and that's why the, the fire alarm. <laughs> the oh, wait, and that's why the four alarm fire. What are you saying? The four alarm fire. Well, he sat down beside me in the living room and then I <laughs> transported him outside. Four alarm fire. Oh, maybe I'm missing a reference. Four alarm fire isn't a nursery rhyme. Okay, I'm just adding two tiny little white dots just anywhere inside that black body there. Just to give him some little glowy eyes. There he is. Brings him to life. Taking a little peek. Look at him there. Oh, I see. Okay, I see. Correct. And that's why the apartment's on fire. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, I know it. I know it, Todd. Curds and whey. I liked the curds and gravy though, because that's poutine. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> I was almost gonna say curds and whey and then I read it and I was like, curds and gravy though. More appropriate. Appreciate the customization. Okay. I'll just give another quick minute. The next step is going to be going back into the pumpkin here. So I'm just gonna give an extra minute just to make sure it's nice and nice and dry. This is the adult version. <laughs> this is the Aaron version with the Sammy the Spider version. Curds and wine. <laughs> Different versions for everybody. Curds and gravy. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> Just cheese curds and wine. <laughs> Tots and gravy were good yesterday. That's good. That sounded so good when you were describing it. I was like, dang, that was for lunch, right? Okay. So I'm going to use the medium round brush now. I've got that ready with my color. I'll describe the color for you here. So you're just mixing yellow and white. And that's going to turn out to be a nice bright, bright yellow for the nice glowy eyes of the jack-o'-lantern. Oh my gosh, Alyssa. I hope that works out. <laughs> Bless. <laughs> yeah, canine's all up in it. Yes! <laughs> all right, so... This is an easy way to get creative with your painting, everybody. You can do whatever design you want. Uh, I just kind of stuck to the classic jack-o'-lantern look. We have some triangles for eyes. We got two triangles. And then what I did here is I kind of made like a toothy smile. I don't know if anyone can kind of see that. It's as if the smile kind of comes down like this. And I left some orange as if there's some little teeth sticking out, some uh, nice buck teeth coming in there. So I did a little up and down motion just to do that. You can make it full smile if you want. You can make it angry. You can do different shapes instead of triangles, whatever you want. So I'm just using the medium round brush again, yellow and white mixed together. I wanna mix yellow and white so it's nice and bright. And again, I'm just gonna try my best to get some nice good centering on here. So one's on the left. You can see there's one, see how bright it is. And that's because I added some white in there. Very bright. Another on the right. So 
just triangle shapes. To make this one a little bigger. Match them up. And then I'm just doing the toothy smile. So again, it's as if I'm doing the top of a smile. So kind of like the straight line and then curve down. I'm just doing the straight line and two curves down, leaving a few gaps for teeth. So I'm gonna go right about here. Come over a little bit. I'm gonna come down, come back up, over, down, back up, whoops. Back up, over a bit and then down again. So I'm leaving all those little gaps and I'm gonna fill those in with the nice bright yellow. Once again, a little off center cause I wasn't looking straight on, that's okay. And adjust right now. Okay, we're only here for two uh, two years. I'd rather get my own puppy. I was more, oh, okay, I see. That makes sense. <laughs> I mean, that's more logical, but just the idea of a puppy makes everybody excited. Of course, of course. Who would take care of it really though? Who would feed it? Like it would probably be a little bit of a mess with organizing proper care, you know? I think your idea makes a little more sense. But again, nothing excites everybody like a puppy, right? More realistic, yep. <laughs> if I were to be painting as well, the eyes would look like winged eyeliner for me. Add a little uh, to even out a few times, then all of a sudden it's dramatic. Yep, that's, uh, I can relate to that. <laughs> I do that a lot when painting, Alyssa. I was gonna say with makeup too, I don't usually do winged eyeliner, but I know what you mean, just continuing to add and evening things out a bit gets too big. But I do that with painting too, everything gets bigger. Whenever I'm doing a moon or just a round object, I start so small because I know I'm going to make it bigger and bigger and bigger. All right, just giving a minute or two if you're still working on your little jack-o'-lantern face, keeping her there. Usually this college is therapy puppy Thursdays. Go over oh no, I'm sorry. Oh. I never got to experience any of those. It seemed like every other school had like therapy puppy days. Or just like puppy days where they bring a bunch of cute dogs. And I never saw that at my school. Maybe it was like kind of a new thing after I left. I don't know. Missed out though. Okay, so just as a heads up, next we're gonna do some grays actually. Um, I do wanna do the green, but I feel like this might still be a tiny bit wet up here. So we're just gonna leave that to dry even longer just to be very, very sure. Oh, Cindy, between like five years and 85 years, something like that. He 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 he. I was actually talking about post-secondary though. <laughs> you thought he had me down. Oh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's, it was usually at universities I found they would have all these like during exam season, it'd be like puppy days at other schools. And I was like, when is it coming to ours? <laughs> Yeah, you still don't know. Keep guessing, keep guessing. Gotta get your official guesses in before May of next year. All right, everybody, I'm gonna keep using the medium round brush. And I'm going to use a gray, so I'll just show you here. We're using some gray to start outlining some things. It'll just help with kind of shaping the hat here. You could do kind of this uh, peak here a little bit more so it's a little more defined rather than just kind of disappearing. I like to go along the shoulders here and of course to outline the little kitty cat to make him look a little more prominent amongst all the other black here. So you can just go to your plate. You can mix white and black together. 
Just any sort of medium gray that'll show up on top of the black. White and black. You guys are trying though, I know it. Just keep collecting your evidence. I make references all the time. Just with what I grew up with and all that. I know it's not exact, but you guys can, I'm sure, guess it. Okay, medium round gray. So I'll start just by uh, doing kind of the tip of the hat here. So what I do is I just kind of go along the edge and follow down as if we were redoing that outline just to really show where the tip goes. You can be kind of loose with it too. It doesn't need to be solid lines. See how I kind of break them up a little bit? Just makes it look a little more loose on the way down. Doesn't need to be solid. It can be solid if you want. Here's a solid one just to show you. A little more smooth. Both look good. They're all just kind of like highlights, you know, on top. I'd like to do a nice little curve underneath, just kind of loosely. Again, showing kind of the brim of the hat, separating the tip of the hat there. I mean, we have a virtual zoom therapy available, but it's not puppies. Oh, can't blame a girl for trying to solve the great bun mystery. Nope, cannot. Watch, she secretly lives in Texas. What? <laughs> I'm not Canadian. I would never lie. I would never lie about that. Up the tip of the hat, I just do a couple like random strokes. I just kind of felt it made it look like it was a little bit slumpy, like there was some kind of movement in there rather than it being straight up. It's a little more wrinkled, I guess. You know, things like that. Just small little, small little markings up there. Jarek, welcome in. How's it going? I will shout you out momentarily. Give me a second. There you go. Streaming retro. Yes, you like your retro games. How have you been, Jarek? Uh, another thing you can outline is the brim. So again, kind of doing some loose strokes. I don't go around the whole thing. I just kind of doing a nice curve on the side here. I'll do another curve on the side. Woo, kind of swooping in. Bottom of the brim, swoop. All of those nice things. Just to add a little bit more detail to the plain black we have there. Yeah, I'd never lie. I'm Canadian through and through. I've only ever lived here in Canada land. I've traveled elsewhere, but never lived anywhere else other than inside Canada. Okay, I'm going to do similar things on the shoulder to some gray strokes kind of coming down like that. And before we do this one, I'm not going to do that one quite yet. We want to do some pause for the cat. So just do the left hand one. I'll do some extra details over here. If you already went ahead and did that one, it's okay. Very easy to cover up. Very easy. So don't worry if you went ahead a little bit. You're fine. I'm good in you. I'm good too, Jarek. Thanks for asking. I'm glad you're good. Are you still applying for positions right now? Thank you, canine. Bread scented. I do. <laughs> I do wish I had any sort of bread scented candles. Are they really that, uh, that abundant there? I mean, I'd like to know. Still on the hunt. Um, so I'm going to outline the uh, the cat first rather than the shoulder because we want the little paws sticking out first, right? So I have switched to a tiny brush just because the paws are quite small. So I wanted to get a nice teeny tiny brush here to help with that. So the paws, all they are just kind of U shapes close to the outsides of the cat here. Two little U shapes, so they go down into the arm, just on the outsides of the cat. So just anywhere near that outside edge, outside edge. And then what you can do is outline the shoulder anywhere around those. So we're leaving those blank because those are the cat's little paws and you're not going to see the gray outline for those. They're all kind of connected to the cat. Nope, I wish. <laughs> well, you almost got me there. <laughs> if you just kept that going, I would have come. Yes, I wanted to make the test. Oh, okay. I see. Still studying then. All right, you can also take this gray and outline the cat itself if you want to make him look a little more prominent. I know I felt like he was kind of hiding, so putting some gray on him really helped uh, with popping him out here. Just 
just like that again nice and loose they don't need to connect if you don't want just anything to kind of highlight the outsides there he's really coming together there sell on amazon i guess <laughs> Have you seen them on Amazon? Can you confirm this? I, I actually haven't looked on Amazon for candles ever, so I really should. Cause I, I've been in every store for those things, my gosh. Funny banana, what is that? <laughs> Alyssa, did you mean to copy paste that? Jarek, Jarek, thanks for subbing with Prime, my gosh. Sorry, my alerts aren't on because I'm doing a tutorial, but I see it in the chat there. Big hype for you, thank you so much. Two months. Oh, Tarek, that's really kind of you. Thank you. Look at the can. Oh, I see. Oh, it is a candle. I was like, did you mean to copy that here? Yes, these nuts, funny banana nut bread. Dang, <laughs> sounds interesting. <laughs> Hi, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for uh, the Jeff, Jeff, uh, Jeff money, Jeff. <laughs> Thanks for your your pocket money. Thank you, Jarek, Jarek. That means a lot. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it, Twitch Prime. You're a bun again! Yay! You were a bun before, you are a bun again! Oh, I just gotta review what we gotta do here. Okay, okay. Okay, let's add the little cat's eyes and then we're gonna get into the green here. Just wanna really make sure it's nice and dry here because we're gonna go right on top here. So, we're using the teeny tiny brush again. We're gonna use that yellow white mixture. So if you have any of the yellow white from the jack-o'-lantern face here, you can just dip right back into there. If not, just mix together some yellow and white on your plate. So it's a nice bright yellow. And I just chose to keep my cat eyes nice and simple. If you wanna get fancy with them, if you want a cat, you know there's like, you know, the shapely eyes and stuff. I just did two yellow dots. I just wanted them glowing and cute. So I'm using yellowish white, whitish, whitish yellow, whatever you want to call it. Dot. Dot. That's all. Just having a nice little peek over top. His eyes are just totally glowing. He's just very, very enthused. Very curious about what's going on in the witch's brew. And that's going to be our little kitty cat there. I'll give a quick minute and then we can go on to some green. Burr! Welcome in! How's it going? What are you up to? On your birthday night! How was the rest of your stream? I had to leave really abruptly. I'm sorry. And I was lurking a lot, I'm sorry. All the apologies. I was V-tired this, this afternoon, man. I was like half doing things as I was watching you and honestly, I took a nap at one point. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's like buttered bread baguette smells. Oh, sick, okay. Maybe not buttered bread, but baguette is what I'm looking for. I want a good French baguette candle. I have one over there. I never burn it because it's just a one of a kind. Excuse me, what? You didn't know this? Yes, it's a very special day. It's her birthday. She's smacked in between, sandwiched in between Bob's birthday and Halloween. The best day. Chad, I have a question. The Marvel movies, why is Hydra's logo with Kraken? Couldn't tell you, man. Not a big Marvel person, I'm sorry. It was good. Lots of Among Us and I was upset tired too. Upset tired? <laughs> Super tired, okay. It's like, you're upset tired? What does that mean? <laughs> Yeah, I uh, honestly, I took a teeny bit of a nap <laughs> during Among Us and I woke up and saw you were still playing. Yep. I was very tired, man. Not upset, that's good. Yes, it is. I saw one where you were imposter with Kaz. That one was fun. No, 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 no. Everyone was like, you're too chatty. Your imposter goes, no, 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 no. I'm always chatty. <laughs> and you were just laughing away. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm, go I'm glad it was a really good time, Barb. You've been nailing it with the streams this week. They've been all so great. More late night. All right, everybody. I'm going to do some green now. So just to show you what we have here left to do. We've got the nice green of the witch. So we're going for a really, really nice kind of light limey green. Okay, we've got the face, we got the arms, we're going to do the hands as well. We did not sketch the hands yet. 
keep in mind, because just because I know the hands are going to freak some people out. They're going to be like, oh, I can't do hands. I can't really either. <laughs> um, I feel like mine could have been better, but they get covered up a lot, right? We get covered up with all this nice lavender bubble stuff. So don't worry too much. If you see a couple little fingers, that's great. Just some shapes. Again, I'll try to lead you through the best I can doing some nice hands, but I had a lot of trouble doing them. Hands are tough. Hands are tough. So just know we're in this together, okay? Medium round brush. I'm going to mix together three colors. We have yellow, we have white, and then we have just a little bit of phthalo blue because we want it to be a super, super light green, right? So you could even use that yellow white mixture that we were using for the eyes, for the jack-o'-lantern here, and we can just add a little bit of phthalo blue in there and that would be perfect. It's easy to let them take that. <laughs> yeah, you're just laughing away. That's what you gotta do too if your uh, imposter friend is found out. You just gotta let it roll. You cannot defend or else you're done for. <laughs> Woodrow. <laughs> Stick, his name's Stick. Nessa, yo, what's up? I always love your entrances. Yo, I'm good. I'm just doing a tutorial. How are you? Okay, I've got my green ready. So again, just to repeat, that was lots of yellow, white, and then a tiny bit of phthalo blue. And I'm just kind of filling in what we have left. So again, this green I find goes beautifully on top of the purple, even just in one layer. And that's because of the white. So if you're finding it's not, you're finding it's maybe transparent, it's not going on nice and opaque. Just add a little more white, see how it goes. So I'm filling in the whole face. At this point, your black should be dry, so you can even go a little bit on top of your black if you need to help it, uh, or if you need to go over top to help with shaping. Just staying nice and tight to the brim of the hat. So bright on top there. It's gonna go here. Okay, and my chin ends like just right about at the pumpkin here. You can choose though, if you wanna make the chin a little bit bigger, you can either make it go on top of the pumpkin or make it hide behind the pumpkin. Either one would work. She can either be sticking her face right into the pumpkin or kind of hiding behind it. Either one is fine. Either one is fine. I type how I speak. I appreciate that. I enter with some yo's here and there too. You're just consistent with yours. I'm good putting another cart. I'm collecting too much paint. You're putting another cart. Oh, like a little storage cart maybe? That's a good idea. I can relate. <laughs> uh, mine are on shelves right now, but actually no, they're all over the floor. I've got some stuff on shelves, but it's all knocked over it appears. What happened? Oh dear, I should fix that. Anyway, I need a cart too. These bottles are just all at my feet at all times. Okay, everyone, I'm filling in the arms as well. And these arms are going on top of the pumpkin. So if you need to overlap a little bit, that's okay. Just kind of like this bottom edge here, you can make it go on top. I'm just gonna do the arms first and then we're gonna concentrate on the hand. So I'm gonna move over to the other side. You can see right now it's kind of hidden. The hand, I mean, it's not quite there. I'm just gonna go to the other side and do the arm first. Earthquake at Aaron's place? What are you talking about? Was there an earthquake? Oh, with all my stuff falling? I think it was probably just one thing and then everything collapsed with it. <laughs> I mean, that's all it was. It was just me putting it on the shelf messily and then it all fell over probably. No earthquakes here. I've never experienced an earthquake before. It's probably a good thing. It's not like they're fun or anything. So you can see the arms reaching in, reaching in could find was the three tentacles represent the six heads of hydra oh interesting <laughs> weird choices you actually looked it up i had no clue yeah i'm not a big marvel person so i was like i don't know teaching us all though teaching us all 
Okay, just giving a quick minute for the arms, then we can go through the hands nice and slow. And again, just remember, just remember they get really covered up. Don't worry too much. I like the movies, but don't like uh, look that far into it. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Jersters 4, welcome in. I live in uh, California. Earthquakes are terrifying. Yeah, I'm, um, it's not like it's something I'd want to experience. It's, it's a curiosity thing, but yeah, I can imagine they're terrifying for sure. Welcome in. Are you painting today or you're uh, just popping in the chat now? I'm doing a tutorial if you didn't know. <laughs> It's a rolling cart. I have my paints in a container. The car is to have all the supplies near. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Oh, yes. When you try recording yourself. Ooh, is that coming soon, Nessa? Okay. I'm going to work on the hands a little bit, everybody. So you're welcome to uh, follow along as you like. Let's see here. So I actually, <laughs> here's a story. When I was doing this painting live on Twitch, I had no references to look at. I had a very specific, like, image in my head of what I wanted the witch to be doing. So quite literally, I posed in front of the camera and people screenshotted me and I used myself as a reference. So I posed like this <laughs> with my hands <laughs> and then I tried to copy my hands. I was going like this a bunch. <laughs> and so people took, uh, took screenshots and I used those as a reference. But yeah, so we have the two hands just kind of limp and laying like this. They're kind of reaching in. So we have the thumbs on the insides and then the other fingers are kind of curling in. So I kind of made them a little bit kind of edgy, kind of like straight, 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 straight. So you get kind of the bends in the fingers, all the little knuckles and bits like that, all kind of curling in. Um, I used this brush for it. If you want to use a teeny tiny brush, you certainly could. And I'll read the rest in a second. Painting me in the fan to your center. Oh, okay. Jerez, welcome back. Lovely to have you back. All right, so I'm doing medium round brush, the nice light green. I just need to look at this straight on here. There we go. So I'm starting with the thumb. Oops, so one more time I'm gonna show you. So how the thumbs go inside like this, they kind of point out. She's kind of reaching in, the thumbs really point out. So you can start just by doing kind of like a thin curve, kind of coming up and out like this. Up and in, I guess I just say, is going inside. And then that one too. I feel like I was kind of channeling the Grinch when I did this too. He has these kind of long lengthy fingers as well. With the little points, I guess too. That's more of the Grinch is what I'm saying. Little points on the ends. Do, do, do. Gertie, hello! <laughs> Gertie will die at that Tom thing story too. I'll tell you that later. I've got the uh, the thumbs on here. So now what I'm doing is I'm taking the tip of the brush again and I'm gonna do some little fingers coming in. So I'm just gonna go a little bit longer here. I'm gonna come out from the kind of bottom edge here. I'm just doing one finger at a time. So I'm coming out then I'll do a quick bend down. I imagine the hands are inside of the little pumpkin here. So I don't wanna overlap. Once I get to this bottom ridge here, I'm gonna stop because it's gonna be behind. So if your hands are a little big like mine, that's okay. They're going to just kind of chop off. Doing a second finger coming down. So you can see I kind of kept them connected a little bit and then they start to separate further down. Again, stopping before the bottom edge. Three. I'm counting fingers, not thumbs. So thumb, we got three fingers. And then a fourth. And I'm kind of bringing it down because we still have like the palm, right? The palm is kind of tucked into here. So we want to make sure we're bringing it down a little bit further, right? So that's why I'm keeping the fingers a little more connected and they just kind of start to split before the pumpkin there. They're reaching in. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna catch up here. We had an earthquake in uh, Pennsylvania. People went nuts. Oh no. Yeah, it's it sounds very scary. Live in Arizona, we get them. Mm-hmm. Yes, welcome in again, Gertie. Oh, wow, that's a big one. Oh, well, Gertie. <laughs> well, 
few others were in Tom's stream and Tom was raiding out and they said, why don't you raid Aaron Bun Paints? And then he almost did and then he didn't because I had followers only on the chat. Isn't that awful? <laughs> but he knows me. He checked me out. I was so excited. Hate that no matter how much I wash my hands, they smell like the gloves bleach from the hospital. Oh, really? Even with like scented soaps and stuff like that? For the best, yeah. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> Why are you guys always in the hospital? Alyssa works there. Alyssa works there. No. Oh, Gertie, it's okay. <laughs> Just doing the other hand, everybody. I'll talk to you in a second. <laughs> so same thing. You're just kind of reaching over and down. Over and down. Trying to leave them connected because we want that palm there, right? Over, down. Over, down. So reaching in there. Mm-hmm. Canine two. Oh, Nessa, I didn't realize you did. Yeah. I don't think I knew that, Nessa. Interesting. Canine I knew, respiratory. Alyssa I knew, a school. Huh. I really thought you were just talking to, uh, to Alyssa there. <laughs> well, you all did say same, I guess there. There we go. Mm-hmm. All right, there are those hands there. Just gonna maybe clean them up a bit just at the bottoms. Creeping in there. Who knows what's in her pumpkin? She's reaching in. I had a few people um, when I was doing this painting too, saying that it kind of looked like a big Halloween bucket. So if you didn't want like a potion or any bubbles coming out later on, you could kind of imagine she's just sneaking her hands in for a little treat. I had little Halloween buckets like this when I was trick-or-treating. When I was younger. So this reminds me of that too. Neurosurgery. Okay, yeah, I don't think I knew that. Labor and delivery. Oh, Marion, you too, my gosh. Surgical tech, wow. Student assistant at the lab. Yes, exactly. Smelliest job is the acid fast room where I process specimens. Yes, I remember you saying you worked uh, kind of in a lab, different chemicals, gotcha. Yes, and then canines respiratory. <laughs> you guys have really real jobs. <laughs> they all work very hard. Very <laughs> really real jobs. <laughs> That's funny. A real job crew. That's great. Yeah, they work hard. And they're on Twitch and they do art and they hang out. Like, how do they do it all? I can hardly just do the Twitch thing. What the heck am I doing? <laughs> School is what my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I'm dying. Really real jobs. <laughs> the really real. <laughs> Pretty tedious. Me and another do it. Something called a vet tax. Dilutions and purity play. It's been fun training when I'm not fully educated. Oh, wow. Oof. Scary. Musician too. Fiddler. Ah, ah, ah. How do you do it all? How do you have the time? I need to budget my time better, apparently. Art is the fun. True. Yeah, I'm sure it's great practice being in that scenario, Alyssa. <laughs> so talented. Gertie, you're so young. <laughs> you don't have time, don't worry. No sleep, gotcha. Yeah, there's a, there's always that meme. I think it's for, um, like, in university, it's either sleep, party, or study. It's like, choose two, you can't do all three. <laughs> Usually people cut the sleep. <laughs> mm -hmm. Art is the fun relaxation, good. My motto is you can't have success without the crippling stress. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's quite the motto. <laughs> You can have success with a crippling stress, please. Just need to budget. Get some balance. All right, so I'm going to start to add some details to the face now. We have an empty face, a nice bright green face for filling. And I'm not going to lie, I struggled with this part. I wanted to get a, like a nose. I had a, it's just a vision for a nose. I looked up all these nose references and had this idea that the eyes were kind of covered so you can see there's no eyes here. So I just did a nice big nose with some little warts around there, a nice little coy smile as well. So I'll try my best to uh, get you through the nose as close to what I did here. Um, a little bigger, kind of like two curves coming down for the bridge. 
Two little bulbs on the edges here. Very bulbous nose. Everyone liked when I used that word last time. And then just a nice curve coming down for the little tip here. Then we'll add the little warts and the little smile as well. So the color I'm using, you can see it's just a darker green. Darker green than my previous. So you can use the teeny tiny brush here. You can add some blue to your existing green. You could even add a tiny bit of black if you want. That helps just kind of dirty up the green if you don't like how bright the green is. Putting a little bit of black will help kind of make it more of a foresty green. I'd rather be nice and chill and have crippling stress. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'll check it in the comments in a second. So let's start with the nose just because it kind of starts right at the brim here, again, right in the middle. We're doing two kind of long curves coming down on either side. One, two, and the curves kind of go, oops, out and then in. I had a little slip there. So they come out and in, out and in. If you ever make a little mistake like I did there, just a little, little jitter of the brush, you can just take some light green. Oh, I did it again. See, it's like slipping here. I don't know. My palm won't stick. Uh, you can take some light green and cover things up, straighten things out, whatever you want. So I'm just going to take light green, get rid of that little blip there. Goodbye. There we go. That's a little more what I want. Cool. So I'm just going to keep her there. If you like science, med techs are always needed and I'll probably be offered a real job my second year and do come. Hmm. Hope so. Hope so. Wicked Witch of the West, rally, welcome in, yes. Do have a science degree, there you go. I actually find my work so far relaxing, unless I get 19 specimens. Um, I've been warned, average six to 10. Oh, okay, like I've been warned, I see. Really enjoy my job as well, during flu season gets overwhelming, but I work with a great bunch of people. That's good, environment's really important too. That can really affect uh, the whole job experience, even if it's something that you love, if it's not in a good environment with good people, it can be really different. I also agree, but I've been conditioned to think otherwise and now I'm used to somewhat crippling stress. I see. I hope you find balance, Gertie. I mean, I don't want to say I was brought up that way. It wasn't my parents. It's just, that's just how I am. I uh, like to be incredibly busy at all times and then work myself into a uh, <laughs> little ball of stress. <laughs> uh, anyway. I'm trying to find balance and I hope you do too. It's important to have balance. It's just as important as working hard to be taking care of yourself too. So consider that as well. But it's, yeah, I, I get it if that's kind of just the way you operate too. I work a little better under stress and under procrastination pressure. <laughs> that's the way I do it. All right, so I've got the two edges of the bridge of the nose here. So I'm taking that same brush with the same color I'm going to start just a little above, so just not right at the very tip here, just a little above that curve. Doing a nice round, round edge of the nose. So I'm curling around and in. I'm going to do the bottom tip of the nose by coming down and then curving back up. And then we finish off with a similar just a round edge on the right hand side. There we go. Nice shapely nose. Lots of nice curves, again, very bulbous. And cause she's looking down, we see like more of the nose going on too. Uh, I don't think a geographic info science helpful for med tech. Dancing away rally. I've also been warned about the loud few hospitals in which they want test super stat, which is impossible. Yeah, those shouldn't be rushed. Perfectly balanced as all things should be. I'm not Thanos saying this. No, I'm not snapping my fingers. That's good, Gertie. As long as it's on your mind, I think that's most important. Just trying to think about that. It's good to be working hard. You know, like, I don't want to say it's good to be stressed. It's good to be busy, I think. At least for me it is. For others, maybe not. That's important to take a breather here and there. Because if you don't take care of yourself, you won't be able to even have an opportunity to be busy or stressed. You'll just be like out of commission. Receptor told me you can only do one thing at a time. Do it. You can't ask for help. That's good. Witches are supposed to be ugly anyways. So some messes up. It can be purposeful. <laughs> it's true. If something's a little wonky, you're just like, ah, it's fine. All right. So I'm going to do my little coy smile here. You can do whatever you want with her mouth. But I did this little like kind of straight across look and then a quick little curve up, just a little bit of a smile. She's just cooking up something in her little uh, little pumpkin here. So I do a little curve at the start here on the left and then I just kind of come straight across. 
Give it a little smile. Oh, and it's a little tilted. Whoops, I meant to do it a little more straight. In my original, the smile is touching the nose. In this painting, my face is a little longer, so I brought the, uh, the mouth down just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. I'm just covering up. See, here's an example you can easily cover up. Look, I didn't like that straight line, that line that was angled. Rather, I want it straighter. I just took some light green, brushed it on top, blended it in as it was still wet. I will retake my green. I will be careful this time and look straight at it. Get it a little straighter across. Now it's the way I want it, a little straighter, see? So you can do that with anything. That's why it's important just not to panic, just go right on top or let it dry and then go on top. If you don't want to do wet on wet, that's fine as well. I'm just gonna compare the two so you can see the mouth and nose difference here, just because my, my face was a little bit longer. See that? See how it's up here, went a little further down. Just a longer face, that's all. So just adjust as you need to, right? Which vine, Todd? Words of wisdom, thanks. Takes a few hours to get through the acid process. Mm-hmm. Have a blank canvas, snap fingers, flash of light. Oh, I see, like an idea for one. You mean a TikTok? Vine is fine as a big rip right now. It's rest in peace and dead. But yeah, Todd, uh, there's so many cool things on TikTok. That kind of stuff. Ba bam The artists are very creative on there. Last thing I'm doing, everybody, with my dark green is I'm just doing a, a couple little warts. Just a couple warts for a beautiful witch here. So I'm just dipping into the dark green with my teeny tiny brush. Specifically, I did a little wart on her nose just to give it even an extra bump on top there. You can kind of go, you don't need to go all the way outside. You can kind of just go close to the outside and do a nice little incomplete circle. Makes it look like there's a little wart kind of hanging off there. I think I did do one over there. It was just covered up. So I'm going to do another one right here. Add as many or as few as you want. So kind of like incomplete circles. They're like three quarters of the way there. You just leave a little piece not showing. If it's connected to the nose, you can do a complete one, just kind of hugging the nose. And there you go. My wife and I are opposites when it comes to stress. She gets very stressed and I chill and pass out all my stress on her. Oh boy. <laughs> Double stress. Oh no. Beep me overheat. <laughs> So I know they're not, uh, yeah, but those bubbles are magical. Oh, thanks, yeah, that'll be, um, I think next. Yeah, yeah, we do those next, dang, cool, cool, cool. Can't wait. Refuse to TikTok on the clock, but party won't stop. I agree, I'm not on there, Todd, as well, but I've just heard things and I've seen some things off of TikTok in the art community, they look so cool. Pleb, welcome in, people juice, how are you? Nothing from a fine. <laughs> They be trying, but yeah, I wasn't really in the vine sphere as it was alive, but I, I live vicariously through all of the uh, the highlight reels, best ofs, YouTube videos. OCD, welcome in as well. Nice to see you. Tonight, I'm a fight till we see the sunlight. Oh, you've never caught on to that, Cindy? Always. That's always how OCD enters. The point where I just say, hi, OCD. <laughs> tired you? I was tired, Pleb. Now I'm just wide awake. You should take a quick little, uh, quick little nap. Stay up late. Hello, hello. One downside to drinking this much water is I have to pee every hour. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> it's good to be hydrated, though. It's a dad joke. Oh, really? Yep, always enters with that exact uh, combination. It's a tad joke. All right, so we can see the painting is almost done. And it can be done if you want. Again, it's your painting. Customize it how you like. Like I said, she could be reaching into a little jack-o'-lantern and maybe scooping out some, some pumpkin guts or maybe going around looking for some candy. But I want it to be like a little uh, cauldron. That was initially what I was going to do. It was a nice big black cauldron, but I changed it to a pumpkin to make it a little bit brighter. So I imagine she has like a little potion moving around in there. So... What I did on mine as a final step was I added all of this nice kind of lavender bubbly looking stuff just kind of coming right out. 
So we did the green semi recently, so I want to just point that out. Make sure you're avoiding the green just a little bit for now. We can go all around it, kind of spilling out of the pumpkin in the middle up here, and then we'll kind of end off on the green. Uh, but yeah, this is what we're doing, this nice transparent kind of bubbly look. So I'm going to do this medium round brush. I'm going to mix this color on my plate first and then I'll teach you how to apply it because it's a little bit of a dry brushing method. So we're going to mix three colors. We know how to make purple, that's red and blue. And then to make lavender, we add white. That's the third color. So blue, red and white, mix them all together. You'll only need a little bit of red and blue because it's a very light purple. So you can just do small little scoops of red and blue and then lots of white. Oh, really, Gertie? And to be fair, I never say it anymore. I used to be like, oh, Louise, hello. Not anymore, though. He just does it all the time. She's hungry. She's eating pumpkin seeds. Exactly. Exactly. Never even knows. I just thought it was cute emotes. Oh, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Everyone's figuring that out. That's funny. Should draw more attention to it. Is it going to be cool? Yeah. Lynn, hello. Oh yes, we're doing a, um, this is like our pre-Halloween painting. I don't do a tutorial tomorrow, so this is like my Halloween tutorial. Welcome in, Lynn. We're doing the witch. Remember this one? I'm just gonna grab my towel here. There we go. Okay, so I've got my lavender all mixed up. So again, white, a little bit of blue, a little bit of red. We're doing some dry brushing. So for those who have joined me before dry brushing, you know how to do it. It's when you're taking just a little bit of paint on your brush and kind of scraping it off. For those who don't know, I'll describe it a little more. We're just grabbing the paint on our brush. We're gonna wipe it off. So I have a towel here. You can use whatever you're using, paper towel, doesn't matter. Wiping it mostly off. So you can still see there's some light purple on there, but just no big blobs of it, right? And then that way, when we go on the canvas and I start to do our little bubbles, which are just kind of medium sized circles, only little bits of paint come off. It's like transparent paint. Check this out. You can kind of see through it. It looks kind of scratchy. It looks very transparent. That's exactly what we want. We want all this nice kind of transparency as we're doing the bubbles. So I'm just kind of swirling around. You can maybe go a little in the middle. I kind of like to leave the middle a little more open so it's more so just the outside. But again, just brushing lightly. That way you can get a little bit more transparency as you go in there. And I'm just doing that everywhere I want. So I'm going to start by doing it, as I said, away from the green just because we applied the green kind of recently and I don't want to be rubbing all on top of it. But anywhere else and just slowly adding bubble after bubble. Again, I like to start on the outside, oops, to make it a little more prominent. So that was a little too much paint, so I'm just going to wipe that off. A little too much blue, actually. Let's go on top a bit. There we go. And then I kind of move to the middle, so the middle is a little bit filled in, but not too much. And I'm just applying it all right next to one another, nice and stacked up, kind of changing the sizes as I go, making some smaller ones, making some bigger ones overlapping things as long as they're dry. And just working my way anywhere I want this little potion to be floating. Oh, you saw it? Okay, cool. Ah, oh, perfect, Lynn. Is your husband feeling a little better? I guess he wasn't feeling bad. He was just kind of chipmunk. <laughs> Let us know how he's doing. Adding, 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 adding. My green is pretty dry, so I'm gonna start going on top of the green, but I just wanna remind you to check yours in case it's still a little bit wet. It helps to try not to press too, too hard just to get lots of transparency. If you feel like you're running out of paint, you can press a little bit harder, but I find just a little bit of pressure is good. Again, so you get that kind of scratchy, transparent look. I even add some bubbles kind of on their own, maybe up here by Mr. Spider. Little Sammy the spider has a couple bubbles he's looking at. I like putting one or two by the cat as if the cat is going to pounce on a bubble or two. There's one. There's one. And it's slowly coming together. 
So just uh, really pile them up to right in the middle here, right where the pumpkin is open. I really like to do multiple kind of on top of one another. So you actually start to lose a little bit of the circles in here, but you still see the roundness. You know, you see all the little edges kind of popping in and out. So don't be afraid to stack them on top of one another, especially where they're most prominent, right at the little cauldron area, pumpkin area. Still a pumpkin, or still a chipmunk, excuse me, he's not still a pumpkin, he's still a chipmunk, but okay, that's good. He had some dental surgery, Gertie. I'll let Lynn answer though. He's all good, he's just recovering. And again, if you want to leave certain things open, like the hands, if you really like the hands, you don't want to cover those up, don't put any bubbles on top, but I'm going to put a few just so we get some transparency going on. And I'm just going to keep adding. I find the layering's really cool in this, again, especially in the middle. So I'm going to keep adding on top, just swirling away. Side mount. Yes, there it is. Yeah, and he's all good though, he's just recovering. We heard some updates today, so I thought I'd check in. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. Even if you don't want to do really necessarily circles, you can just kind of swirl wherever you want, you know, just going continuously all the way to really cover up if you wish. Depends how prominent you want the bubbles to be versus just kind of like a transparent potion. You could put green smoke pouring out of the top. That's true. We almost did green. Um, the reason we didn't do green OCD, or at least I chose not to, is because I was worried it would interfere with the uh, hands too much. Hands in the face. That's why we went with this nice light purple. I almost did white as well, but purple is just kind of an extra pop of color. I almost did a mixture though. I think I remember kind of saying, oh, I could do a couple colors, but it ended up just being purple. Best wishes for your husband. Yes, just came in and says, hello, Aaron, nice pumpkin. Oh, be careful of the witch. Oh, okay, <laughs> thank you. Hope you're feeling better. Quick recovery. <laughs> That's funny, nice pumpkin, careful of the witch. See how cluttered it's getting in here, but it's good, I like it that way. Let's do a couple more bubbles maybe on their own here. And yeah, again, OCD brings up a great point because you can do whatever colors you want, even if you want to stack on different colors on top. Like a nice easy one to do would just be like a lighter purple. You can start to maybe highlight a couple, just doing some lighter, lighter colors on top. If you like that layering look, just as an example, I'll show you a couple, see that? It just kind of brightens up a couple of them. It's all up to you. There's little Sammy, yep. Cute. Sammy, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the purple was a great choice again. That's uh that was all you guys telling me that one. A nice lavender. I almost did just plain white, like a gray. I like the purple. Cute. <laughs> Sixty-two, welcome in and thanks for the follow, Sylvester. My alerts are off um, just because I'm doing a tutorial, but welcome in. Feel free to chat. We actually just finished up. For those who are following along, that was actually the very last step. I'm just triple checking everything. Yeah, that's uh, that's all the elements. Yeah, yeah, that's all. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was quick. Um, so as a final bonus step, I always say, please, please sign your paintings. It's always the final step for me anyway, just to really solidify the paintings done. Just kind of tells yourself it's all completed. It's my little initials, Aaron Bunn, there we go. I'm gonna show the uh, second painting in comparison, just so you can see both kind of next together. I love to display that because it really shows how each painting is a little bit different, even though they're both great. 
They're always going to be a little bit different from one another. Look at that. Both their own unique paintings, you know? Can't triple check a double check? Well, I just did. Can't triple stamp a double stamp. We can't triple stamp a double stamp. We gotta watch that. We gotta do a Jim Carrey night for sure. <laughs> you right though, Gertie. You right. La 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 la. <laughs> okay. So if you are all done, you want to share some photos. That's one of my favorite parts of seeing all the beautiful photos of all of your beautiful paintings. So I'm just going to go over to Facebook. Because that's usually the number one spot actually to post is Facebook. A lot of people like to go back to the Facebook event page that maybe you uh, found this event through and you can post to the event itself. So I'm just going to open it up for posting. Because right now I have it locked. There we go. Update. Perfect. Great. So yes, if you'd like to post to Facebook, you can. If you'd like to post to Discord, you can. I'm just going to put all my socials in the chat there. Yep. So you can click any of those. So you can click Facebook. You can post your photo in the Facebook event page. Click Discord if you prefer Discord. Uh, we have a nice art share channel going on there. You can post all your beautiful photos there. Instagram is a good spot as well. If you want to just tag me or hashtag Aaron Bun Paints, that'll uh, allow me to see it and display it for everybody else. And then uh, Twitter's there. I don't really tweet, but I do have a Twitter account. And then YouTube is there if you want to rewatch any of my past tutorials. So, um, oh, why does it say that? Hold on. Oh no, that's fine. Um, so yeah, this will be uploaded eventually there. Again, I am a little behind on uploading, but I am working on it. I posted two videos in the last day and I've got a third one coming very soon. So I'm catching up. You can still look there for all the tutorials. Uh, in the meantime, if you want to rewatch this at all, it will be available on uh, Twitch, here on Twitch, uh, until it's uploaded to YouTube. So you'll always be able to find this tutorial and any other tutorials, uh, either here or on Facebook, if they're still existing on Facebook. Some of them are, so uh, yeah, they're everywhere. Point is, you'll always find it somewhere. Message me if you can't find one. Uh, Grandma, evening Aaron and Bun's been lurking but did the painting in the watercolor. Oh, fun! Still the mess of my acrylic from earlier pores. Oh, thank you, Grandma. Can't wait to see your watercolor version. That's very cool. Thank you, Gray. Yeah, if you want to support me today, um, Prime subs are a thing. You can subscribe for free to me um, by using Amazon Prime. There's some instructions there or just subscribe as well. That helps me. Thank you very much. Um, but most of all, I'm just glad everyone's still here. As I keep saying, <laughs> I'm just glad you're all enjoying and painting and hanging out with me and having a good time. So those are just extra things. But thank you anyways. Thank you, Gray, for pointing that out. And uh, yeah, if anyone has questions, that's why I'm standing, standing here. I'm sitting here. I'm not standing, uh, sitting here waiting for any questions. If anyone has questions about the painting, if anyone wants to chat a little bit, I'll just be hanging out for a little bit. So uh, yeah, feel free to ask any questions you like, chat, whatever you need.